Hi everyone. So my name is Stravko Gunimich. Um, everyone calls me Z, which is um, probably easier for a lot of people because my name starts with three consonants and the first letter is a Z. So Z is totally fine with me. Um, I'm the Waterloo candidate for the Green Party, as was mentioned, and I'm very excited to be here tonight. So thank you very much for inviting me and inviting the rest of the candidates here to speak with all of you. So I decided to get involved because I believe that we can do things differently in Ontario, and I believe that we can do politics differently in Ontario as well. And I feel like it's time that we focus on the people of Ontario and focus on what matters to them and not what matters to the political parties and their friends. So why green for me? When I started paying attention to all the various party leaders, Mike Schreiner, the leader of the Green Party, sounded different. He sounded genuine, and he sounded like he actually cared about me and what's important to me, my friends, and my family. The Green Party is a progressive party that believes in fiscal responsibility, social, is socially progressive, environmentally and community focused. So which is why I believe that it's time we end the budget freeze on local libraries. So for 20 years consecutive, <laughs> well, <laughs> so I'm going to continue with what I wrote anyways. <laughs> uh, so for 20 years, um, consecutive conservative and liberal governments, even though they may have just ended the budget freeze, they didn't do it until just recently. Um, they froze the budget for local libraries. And I feel that, that was short-sighted and had long-term consequences. So the policy of freezing the budget for local libraries means that libraries today have 42% less money than they would have due to inflation. And that places a very big burden on the municipal tax base. Because libraries are important. And many people don't realize how important libraries are. The resources libraries provide go well beyond books. They provide, they provide access to internet, magazines, movies, other forms of entertainment, social, um, socializing, as well as classes. And the KPL, as we all know, offers a digital studio via the Hefner Studio. So including 3D printing, green screen, music station, VR station, instrument rentals, and more. So think about it. You could go to the library, and today you could perhaps be the next YouTube sensation. So these services didn't exist 20 or 30 years ago when I was younger, but who knows, if YouTube even existed 30 years ago, maybe I would have been the next YouTube star back then. So growing up as a first generation Canadian, my parents couldn't really help my sister and I very much with schoolwork. So we relied on the library, specifically the KPL. So we grew to love the library and the resources that it offered us. So imagine these meccas of culture if funding hadn't been frozen for 20 years. Modern libraries, as we know, are economic incubators that support innovation, entrepreneurship, and community economic development. Libraries also welcome new Canadians to our communities. They support literacy and ESL services. Libraries provide our cities and towns with economic and community benefits as well. And it's time that our provincial government recognizes that. So we support the Ontario Library Association's request for funding increases of public and First Nations libraries from 33 million to 50 million indexed to the Consumer Price Index. So we have an opportunity in this election to do something that's different, do something that matters. Together we can make a positive change for the people of Waterloo, Waterloo Region, and Ontario. So I hope that you'll support me and the Green Party on June 7th. Thank you.